And welcome back, Haskey here with another music note guide for Banjo Kazooie. This is Click Clock Wood, and this is going to be the final episode in my How to Collect All of the Music Notes in Banjo Kazooie playlist. And this video is going to run a few minutes longer than the other parts of the series, just because, depending on how you look at it, Click Clock Wood is sort of four times bigger than the other levels in the game. Um, as you probably know, there are four seasons. And depending on what time of year you're playing on the map, if you will, you're going to see different notes in different places. So just because you've explored a certain area and looks like you're good, there's no more notes there, doesn't mean that there's not going to be any notes in the same exact spot when you're in a different season. Keeping that in mind, Past Me is going to start running around collecting all the notes in springtime. Springtime on Click Clock Wood has 20 notes in it. I'm going to try my best to just kind of point out how many are in each season. And in, in this clip here, I, I don't move on to the next season until I've collected all the notes in, in that season. And I do that, of course. Well, I mean, one, it's efficient <laughs> as, as far as like making a, a quick and to the point tutorial video. That's nice, obviously. But also, it, it's really a, it's a pretty bad feeling to get down to the you know last 10 or last five notes and go, uh, which season are these in, you know? Because then now you have to kind of explore the map four separate times, end to end to end, and it, it really kind of sucks. So so hopefully we can avoid that by just not moving on until we have them all. Anyway, I just saw Mumbo's Hut. In order to collect all of the music notes on this stage, you actually do not need the bee form, which is kind of nice. I mean, if, if you'd like to, you can certainly turn into the bee. Maybe flying around will help you collect the music notes in springtime. Uh, that form, of course, is not available in the other seasons, so it's only going to help you in spring. Uh, but as far as needing it, like requiring it, you don't need the B form. So if you don't have 25 Mumbo tokens, don't even worry about it. You will, of course, have to navigate the tree up here in this season and the others. So I hope you're feeling confident doing some of these more complicated, more advanced, more risky jumps. But um, I, I wouldn't stress about it too much, or try not to, because even though it looks like you're way, way, way up here, uh, if you do fall, if you can keep yourself from using your second jump too early, and instead use it like halfway down the fall, you can minimize a lot of the damage you would take from, from that impact, if you will. Well, actually, right there, <laughs> I, I kind of forgot that I hurl myself off the top of the tree after opening the uh, summer season, but that's actually kind of nice. That, that actually is a really good example of how you can survive really long falls in this game. Whereas, I mean, that was on purpose, but if it was an accident and I had, you know, like a knee-jerk reaction like you do when you realize you're falling... And you hit the A button, you hit you hit the second jump, and you use that that flutter ability way up at the beginning of the fall, and now you're falling the entire rest of the way without anything to help you. At that point, you're almost certainly going to die. But uh, having said that, don't wait too long to use that second jump because I think after a certain point, after a certain distance you've fallen, you then lose your ability to use the second jump, and at that point, you're definitely going to die. So, if you fall, if you slip. Just kind of try to not use that second jump until you're halfway down the tree or something like that. Anyway, though, Summertime. Let's talk about Summertime. Summertime has 16 notes in it. That's that's it. Same with uh, Winter, actually, for that matter. Uh, fall has the most, interestingly enough, which I'm also going to be going to be opening right now. I didn't point out in, spring, in the springtime map that none of my uh, seasonal doors are opened in this save file, so I'll be kind of fitting that into the route as I run around. But yeah, just 16 notes on Summertime. And also I had to, um, in, in in order to get the music notes, you have to do it anyway. But you're also going to be going into that, um, the, the, the beaver's name, Naughty, right? That's his name, Naughty. You're going to be going up into his uh, little house there in fall. So that boulder is going to need to be broken in summer. But there are two music notes in that little entryway anyway, so... You, you already would have done that, but yeah. That's got to be done. Continuing on now, we will be working our way back up the tree again for the second of four times. We are going to be continuing to look for music notes until we hit 36 notes in summer. That way we know for sure that we've collected them all in both spring and summer. And then we do not need to think about ever returning to those seasons. 
Assuming we don't die. By the end of this, you're going to be really good at those little jumps right there, where you jump out of the, the center of the tree and then flutter back in. There's that interesting building there. Very, very unique way of erecting a building, where you start with the walls and roof and then you put in the floor. I will not be contracting them. I will not be I will not be having those people design and build my barn in the tree or whatever that thing was cabin and we are going to hop down in the safest way possible and that's it for summer we're out of here we'll be moving on to fall next of course fall being kind of the the odd stage has almost half the notes for some reason there's gonna be 48 in here and we're gonna stick around on this level or this stage of the level the season until we're up to 84 we're not even gonna to touch winter time until we have 84 notes you're also gonna need a, a couple of gold feathers here on this level there's some fly traps that we'll be looking at here in a little while uh, where you need gold feathers to uh, collect the music notes that are like in, in their, in, I'm going to call them mouths. It's in their mouths. In the jaws of the plant. So if you use gold feathers a lot and you're running low or you don't have any, I know that there is at least one of them at like the hub of the level. Like when you when you exit one of the seasons and there's like that, that hub where you can enter the other other stages of Click Clock Wood. Um, there's one underneath the bridge one of the bridges um, in that little hub area there. And if that's not enough, there are a ton in winter time for some reason. So that would probably be a good place to look. So if you have to dip out of fall real quick, grab some gold feathers from a different season and come back. Um, luckily, you know, your, your music note count does not reset when you, it's not like you're leaving click lock wood when you, when you hop into winter or a different season. So do what you gotta do to get those gold feathers. Minimum, I believe you need four gold feathers in order to, uh, you know, snag the notes without taking damage. I suppose you could take some damage and save a gold feather if you're comfortable doing that, but um, I don't want to overcomplicate this. Try to get four, five, maybe six notes to be perfectly safe, and then you'll have enough. And that's really all you need to get all the notes on the, the whole stage. And there's one right there. So I think I had 10 gold feathers there. And yeah, you see, down to eight, two. And that was reasonably fast. I think on the second Venus flytrap, I used three. We will be hitting up the beehive next. Not as a bee, of course, but as Banjo-Kazooie. And this is another one of those examples of uh, finding music notes or not finding music notes in certain areas because of what season you're in. Um, you can enter the beehive in both spring and summer, and there are no music notes in the beehive at that time. Only only in fall are there music notes inside the beehive. So you got to be aware of that. We'll snag those and get out of here. We'll snag them and be gone. Hey, please don't leave. All right. <laughs> Back outside. Uh, more of these... Cute little jumps that you do in this stage. Probably getting really good at them at this point, hopefully. We're going to be going by... That's that <laughs> the tree barn again. I believe at this point uh, in, in this uh, season... You, we, we don't go into it in, in this video, but... I, I think the floor is partially done at this point. I think there are some holes in the floor still, though. Which is super janky, and I love it. But I think, I think I've criticized the Banjo-Kazooie Carpenters enough. We're going to dip in here to this guy's house. I forget this character's name. But he's got three notes. We're just going to steal him. He doesn't need him. I don't think he appreciates music. All he appreciates is acorns. This spot's kind of tough. You have to, like, simultaneously do the jump and attack. It's kind of easy, though, once you realize it's... Instead of just doing, like, the double jump, like the AA, you just hit AB. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Assuming you're playing on the N64. I know people play this on the Xbox or something nowadays. That was me opening up winter time. 
Got just a few more notes. I forgot some notes down on the uh, lower level, so this is it pretty much for the tree. And then I'm going to hop off here and get back down below. You'll probably want to pick a safer way down than me here. As I kind of jump down and get eaten alive by birds. I'm also going <laughs> to... This, this jump right here, I was aiming for the water. Which I, I miss in the most fantastic way possible. No pressure though, just one health, that's plenty. So yeah, I don't know, maybe, 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 maybe go down a different way. Moving past that though, another little patch of notes here. It's gonna put us at 82. If you recall, we were gonna be remaining in fall until 84, so there are two left. And those are gonna be in the little beaver house over here. We had to open this up in summertime. So if there, <laughs> if that entrance is still bouldered, you'll have to go back to summer. But if it is still boulder, that means you're missing notes from that area. But we already touched on that. And there it is, 84. All right, final stretch now. We're gonna beeline it for winter time and we're gonna close out this entire series. And what a long, crazy journey it's been. Um, and I don't mean to go on a huge tangent about it. It's just something really funny that I, to me at least, that I, I noticed today while I was setting up to do these these final voiceovers for the video. Um, I started looking at some of the, the file properties of the original video files. I was looking at like what days certain things were recorded on. And this, this whole project started with, of course, Mumbo's Mountain, right? I started by recording Mumbo's Mountain and then I think I sat on it for like nine months before I actually did voiceovers on it. But um, Mumbo's Mountain, that that original video file that started this whole series was recorded five years ago today. <laughs> today. Uh, this, this whole project is f exactly five years old. And I thought that was hilarious. Now, now don't don't go thinking that I've been working on it that entire time. That That's absurd. No, I... This, this, for whatever reason, this project has been something that I have worked on, I'll do an episode, and then I'll put it down, and then I won't work on it for sometimes years. And, uh, there have been plenty of times where I thought, yeah, that's not never gonna get done, but then I'll come back and record another video. And here we are, closing it out. So, anyway, that's just something, you know, kind of funny that I noticed. Anyway, though, enough about that. Winter time in Click Lock Wood. Kind of a repeat of Freeze Easy Peak. You know, they share some of the same enemies. At least the snowmen, of course. Um, they'll be throwing snowballs at you constantly. So try to keep moving. And uh, also try to change your direction a lot if you can. I don't really think it's enough just to keep moving. Because if you if you keep moving just in a straight line, they kind of lead you. They're, they're kind of smart like that. And they'll still be able to hit you. So you have to kind of like, you know, zigzag, duck and dodge. But anyway, this is, this is kind of an important part right here. Uh, the slope of this roof. There's there's music notes up here. Um, you, Banjo will slip on this roof. Kazooie won't. Um, so when you do your backflip on, on there, you really got to be holding Z and mashing C left. You know, trying to get into that that Kazooie mode. Because um, if you if you don't do it quick enough, you'll slip off, and there's a really good chance you'll slip all the way and fall down to the ground level. Um, I don't necessarily think it's like an instant game over if you fall, but it's definitely not something you want to do if, you ha if you're if you low on health. Um, you can, if you do slip off, you can try to time like a second jump to flutter back onto um, the, the, the platform that that cabin is built on. Um, it's kind of hard to time it, so um, it's probably best just not to get into that situation in the first place. So just don't mess up. That's all. Simple as that, don't mess up. And then this right here is, so at this point we're quite high off the ground now. This is kind of getting into like falling equals dying territory. So don't, uh, with how slippery the uh, the stairs are there, you kind of want to be careful not to run too quickly and uh, slide off as you're trying to come to a stop. But anyway, that was 100 notes on Click Clock Wood. Click Clock Wood being the final level of our series. Nice jump. Oh man, that feels good. All 900 notes in the game. So yeah, click lock wood. Um, I don't really think there are a lot of big 
you know, overarching threats in this level, like uh, swamp water or hot lava or something like that. Um, just a couple of annoying enemies. Those those snowmen in winter time, of course, throwing snowballs at you can be a bit of a threat. But um, luckily, there's kind of a lot of natural cover in this map. They they really only have line of sight of you, you know, every so often. Um, there's also a lot of those bird enemies, which I suppose could be kind of a pain if you struggle with that enemy. Uh, if you don't struggle with that enemy, I mean, they are pretty consistent. You can you 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 decide when they spawn, right? Like you they 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 attack when you get close. So um, if if you get good at killing those enemies, they should be absolutely uh, a non-factor. Um, really, the only other thing is executing jumps and not you know falling to your death, which is a big deal. But you know this is the final this is the final stage in the game. Uh, by now, hopefully you have really gotten a good control over Banjo and Kazooie, and um, there goes the video again. As past task, he says, I am done with this series and hits the stop button. But uh, anyway, I guess that's going to do it for the Banjo-Kazooie Complete Music Note Guide on my channel. I really appreciate you hanging out and watching some of it. Um, I do plan to come back and do a uh, an empty Honeycomb Piece series. Those videos will be significantly shorter, so hopefully it won't take another five or ten years. And seriously, if you're one of the people that were watching, you know, the Mumbles Mountain or Treasure Trove Cove or Clanker's Cavern videos back in like 2017, I'm really sorry it took so long to finish the series. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. I'm going to take off. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next series.